welcome to another edition of Florida Newsmakers. I'm Alia Faraj Johnson with our very special guest, Chairman of the Republican Party of Florida, Lenny Curry. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Good to today. be here. Thanks for having me. Let's, let's talk about the next election. It's never too early to talk about 2014. Um, do you believe that Republicans are in a pretty good position? You know, you, Governor Scott obviously seeking another term. 300,000 jobs, over 300,000 jobs created since Rick Scott's been in office uh, with a Republican-led legislature. Uh, we've been paying down our debt. This is Florida's doing exactly what should be doing what we should be doing nationally. Uh, we could be the model for Washington D.C. Well, when when Governor Scott ran as a candidate, one of his top priorities obviously was the economy and creating jobs. So, do you feel that's a promise that has been met and that will help propel him forward? Over 320,000 jobs created in about two years. Uh, let's get to work was the bold campaign that he ran on, and he's absolutely delivered. Well, the governor has stirred up some controversy in, in recent weeks, but it's always interesting to see controversy because this is how the process works on Medicaid reform. What are your thoughts on that? Are you hearing from some of the Tea Party leaders who were, who were there and behind the governor, and what are some of the concerns they're expressing? Well, here, here's what we know. Rick Scott has fought against this big government health care his entire career. First it was against Clinton Care, then it was against Obamacare, where he actually put his own money into it. So make no mistake about it. Rick Scott is not a proponent of Obamacare. But look, it's the law of the land. He was faced with a set of circumstances, no good choices, and he made the best decision he could with the data in front of him. Now, the House and the Senate will have to look at it and work through it as well. Whatever we come out with, Republican Party will emerge unified around job creation, educating our children, and being fiscally responsible in Florida. Well, there are rumors of some potential Republican candidates that may throw their names and their hats into the ring. What do you say to them? Rick Scott is our incumbent governor. Rick Scott is going to be our nominee. Our party is going to emerge uh, unified into the 14 election cycle. So let's start talking about some of the other polls that are out there. Um, former Republican governor turned Democrat Charlie Crist. You know, what are your thoughts there? Is he going to give you a sort of a run for the money? Uh, it's very, very simple. If Charlie Crist should decide to run for governor, he's got a record. Rick Scott has a record. The record of Charlie Crist is over 800,000 jobs lost on his watch. Unemployment that went from just over 3% to over 11%. An increase in the debt load by $5 billion. Contrast that with Rick Scott, 320-some thousand jobs created, paid down the debt by $2 billion. The record is clear and it speaks for itself. Another name in the mix, um, Democratic U.S. Senator Bill Nelson. I mean, pretty recent news. What are your thoughts about that? Same thing. Bill Nelson's got a record and Rick Scott's got a record. And we have a really good story to tell here in Florida uh, with Governor Scott and our Republican-led legislature, and that is job creation, education, and fiscal responsibility. Looking ahead, lessons learned from the 2012 presidential election, what is it that Republicans in Florida need to do differently? What is it that Republicans across the nation need to do differently? Well, in the short term, the Republican Party will tell the story that we've been talking about here today. That is one of job creation. In the long term, when you get past these midterm elections, there's no question that the Republican Party has to connect with diverse groups of people. The demographics are changing in Florida, much like the country. We've got to be able to connect with the next generation of Cubans, Puerto Ricans, women. I mean, the list goes on and on where we've got to reach out to and engage other groups of people. And do you think that you're going to try to recruit a different kind of Republican here in the state of Florida? No, we're not. We have to embed ourselves in communities with Republicans that are of those communities and just demonstrate that first that we care and that we're willing to listen, build those relationships, and then communicate the Republican message, the principles that are timeless, the, the, the principles that create opportunity and create jobs and give people a purpose every day. And finally, just because we have a little bit of time, um, Governor Jeb Bush, former Governor Jeb Bush, his name has been circulating mostly by his dad, by his, um, by his brother. What are your thoughts on that? We're hearing a lot of chatter about uh, former Governor Jeb Bush and Senator Marco Rubio potentially running for the presidency. It's just exciting for Florida to have both of those men being as a potential candidate. Uh, if either one of them decides to do it, I know that Florida will be in good hands. I'm just enjoying the fact that, again, two serious potential contenders are being discussed right out of Florida. With that, thank you for joining us. And thank you, our viewers. And we look forward to seeing you next week.